dangana odila nyala gyonanga beyang engina nyambigo orala my name is Calm Clayton Dixon uh, I'm from the Ambeyang people in the New England Tableland region of northern New South Wales. Uh, I was inspired to get involved uh, in language work uh, due to a number of reasons. Um, when I lived in Brisbane I'd go along to rallies and protests um, and my friends who are Gimilaroi, they always get up and introduce themselves in their language. Um, and I thought to myself, I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to do that one day. Um, and another thing was uh, when I came down to Armidale and visited my family um, and I saw what's our word for this and what's our word for that and one of them said oh we don't know we don't have that anymore um, and that was another another um, factor um, and the third one of the third the, th the third main one was um, when I went to Canada with three other young blackfellas uh, a couple of years ago and we visited the Mohawks in Kanawage near Montreal and we sat on one side of the the traditional longhouse and all the Mohawks were on the other side and these two young guys got up and spoke fluently for 20-30 minutes and all four of us were sitting there just in awe um, and that left quite a an impact on me in terms of the the value and the the strength of of language. Um, the most inspiring project that I've been involved with and I'm currently involved with is the Animal and Language Revival Program which we founded in um, April 2016 and since then the language program has been going leaps and bounds towards revitalising our traditional language. Um, we're working on, at the moment, putting together the first uh, comprehensive dictionary and grammar and we're calling it an Animal and Language Knowledge Book. So it's not just going to be words and grammar, it's going to be recontextualising, like writing the context back into the language, uh, reconnecting words with story and place and country uh, and culture, traditional knowledge. Um, so yeah, like it's just been amazing to see the language program grow to where it is now. Uh, soon, soon we'll be launching the Animal Language Hub, which will be a, a great community base where we can meet, where we can hold workshops and yeah, it's, it's really exciting.